So currently, netizens have spotted many idols who have unintentionally done a disservice to others and also to themselves, which made their fans don't know whether to laugh or cry. While some netizens find these cases hilarious, others see them in a quite negative way. In this video, we will review these unwanted situations for you. Number 1. Jenny leaked Rosé's shutdown poster before Rosé even published it. Ahead of Blackpink's comeback, new visual posters for each member were being unveiled sequentially, drawing explosive responses from global fans. However, on September 9, Jenny made fans half laughing, half crying when she accidentally posted Rosé's shutdown poster on her Instagram story before it was officially released. The female idol even innocently tagged Rosé's account in the post. Although the female idol later recognized it and quickly deleted the photo, fans were quicker as they had already taken some screenshots. And, well, y'all can imagine how fierce the battle between Rosé's and Jenny's only fans regarding this incident, right? It can be said that unintentionally leaking this poster caused it to lose heat significantly when it was officially announced, and also gave Jenny tons of mixed controversies. Many netizens commented that there was no way Jenny didn't know the teaser was supposed to be dropped at 12 a.m., so her careless actions seemed really suspicious. Some of Rosé's fans even went further, wondering whether Jenny had planned to ruin the hype of Rosé's teaser, and said that they would never forgive the one who did that to their idol. In contrast, some of Jenny's supporters defended her, saying that it was not a big deal, because the poster would be out in a few more hours anyway, and Jenny clearly didn't have any bad intentions, since she might be too excited to show everyone the dope photo of Rosé. Besides, they even said that Rosé's fans should have been happy when they got to see the poster before it was even released. Number 2. Somi accidentally leaked some tunes of Blackpink's Pink Venom. So in March 2, Somi hosted an Instagram Live session just to have a chit-chat with her fans. While walking around her agency, aka Black Label, a subsidiary of Blackpink's agency YG Entertainment, to find a comfortable spot, she accidentally opened the door to a recording room. As she opened it, a song snippet echoed through the hall and took Somi by surprise as she hastily closed the door and ran away from the site with a panicked look on her face. Oh! Although it was only for a brief moment, which was less than three seconds, viewers still heard the line, No, you can't take me down. It didn't take long for people to agree that it was Blackpink's Jenny singing a line. When Blackpink's Pink Venom went on a public release, despite having the same melody, the lyrics of the spoiled part do seem to differ from the released MV, and it was Rosé and Jisoo singing instead with the line switched to Korean. It's tonight, I'm a flower with venom. It can be said that Somi had unintentionally leaked Blackpink's upcoming track. Right after the incident, the hashtags Pink Venom Out Today quickly went viral on online social platforms, dominating the search trend on Twitter and were enthusiastically discussed by the K-pop fan community. While most people were amused by Somi's expression and even thanked her for disclosing what they were actually looking forward to, many others, especially Blinks, didn't think so. They said that Somi was too careless and her action of spoiling the killing part of Pink Venom could have caused the song to be abandoned midway while Blinks were all looking forward to Blackpink's comeback after two years of waiting and desperation. It is known that archived clips of Somi's Instagram Live featuring the snippet had also been taken down by her company. In addition, many people expressed their worry about whether Somi could be punished by YG and Black Label or not since they knew she didn't do it on purpose, and what she accidentally revealed was just a small piece of music. Plus, it was also the recording team's fault when they did neither lock the studio door nor send staff to watch over it while Blackpink was recording. Number 3. Big Naughty Put Himself in Trouble This case of Big Naughty is not a disservice to anyone but actually to himself in a really funny way. So every time an artist released their new MV, they tend to take advantage of every opportunity to promote the song to netizens. But Big Naughty did the complete opposite. On September 25, the male rapper released the MV Just 10 Centimeters featuring 10CM. Instead of encouraging fans to listen to a song, Big Naughty insisted that they should listen to others instead. The reason is that previously, he had promised his fans that if the new song reached the top 10 on Melon, he would play Parachute and 10CM would do a bungee jump. 
And to Big Naughty's surprise, just a few hours after just 10 centimeters was out, it quickly reached 11th place on Melon, making him panic. Do you know how he reacted to this? That's so funny when Big Naughty then panickingly uploaded a screenshot of the achievement on his Instagram story and begged his fans to stop streaming it. He even posted loads of songs from other artists like New Jeans, Ive, and Blackpink, implicitly inviting his fans to listen to these songs instead of his. When bumping into a promotion ad of just 10 centimeters on the street, both Big Naughty and Tensium had a really hilarious action when stopping by to take a picture with a crossed arms pose, in front of the ad telling people to just boycott the song and forget about his promise. However, the guy's efforts to reduce the heat of the song were all in vain because just 10 centimeters had soon climbed up to 8th place on Melon Chart. After that, Big Naughty's agency, Higher Music, even added fuel to the fire as they encouraged him to go skydiving and bungee jumping by announcing that they had contacted national skydivers and insurance centers, as well as prepared the necessary equipment for him to be ready at any time. This is not the first time Big Naughty fell into a dilemma situation. Not long ago, in just a minute of a slip of the tongue, he once announced that he would sign autographs for everyone who pre-orders his album Nangman, and the result was beyond the poor guy's imagination when the pre-orders surpassed 12,000 copies in just a few days, causing him to beg fans not to buy the album and ask the company for help to close the order as soon as possible. No! Don't buy my album! Album! Ah! So, apart from Big Naughty's case, do you think the other two ones are really as serious as some netizens think? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us.